starting with that line I'll also be using the same measurement 2 cm for the radius okay put it that way then mark my points I started this development I have done that of a cone first stream of a cone I've done that of a, a cylinder last time I did that of a prism and now this a pyramid okay so having Run that. I take a parallel line like that. Okay. Then project upwards. Okay. Project upwards. Yeah, it's just the same thing. So here is the is our base. Here is our base. And let's use the height of uh, our pyramid. Let's take four. Take it for from here. The height should be four centimeters. Okay. So after that, to get the center point. Let's just make this here and that goes by six. Okay. We do that, we'll get here as our center point. Then uh, join <laughs> now we have gotten a pyramid okay for this, this is the plan. So you also have to get the middle point, which is this, and this is the apex. 
okay so let's give a base b and the apex a okay so that you take the length a b which is the base to the apex you take measurement of that from a to b and uh, draw oh that's not good okay uh -huh. got it now after that I use my pair of divider to take a measurement of one side of the pyramid. Oh. Um, let's, let's take a measurement one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now let's take six to five. also the same thing here so we use it to mark our point one it has six sides two three four five hmm. yes you need to complete this semicircle well wow, it went too far well because uh, why it went too far is just because this, this prism don't have that height it don't have a lot of height but the base is the length of the base from each side one to six is this much well anyhow have to result to a solution so after that these are the points I got the points I'll number them here one two three four five six and uh, one again so now I'll join the points to the apex this is one this is six this is five this is four this is three This is two, and of course, you know, one. one is always there. After that, remember, it's not just like a cone, so it also has this shape. That's why it's always called a prism or a pyramid. I'm doing is a pyramid okay okay so that is that now I have to bring out the outline starting from the plan start from the plan Okay. 
done with the plan and I go over to the main drawing now we are done so this is our development of a pyramid So this is the development of our pyramid. So that's how it looks like. Thanks for watching and uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Give likes to my videos and also drop your comments on how you feel about the channel and any of our videos. Um, <laughs> Thanks.